Welcome to the Regrid Property app. Today we'll be going in depth about collecting data with the Regrid mobile app. The first thing that you want to do if you want to collect data using our survey tool is to create the survey questions on the website side at app.regrid.com. Because we're focused on the mobile app and the actual surveying process from the mobile app in this video, I'm not going to cover that in depth here, but there is another tutorial available on just the survey creation piece, so do check that out if you want to know more. With any Regrid subscription, you get access to both our website and mobile app with the same login, uh, so you can easily do this. Once you have the survey questions set up, on the mobile app, you want to tap the menu icon up at the top left of the screen, then the toggle for survey mode. The survey will appear by default below, um, and you can tap it to see and select any of the surveys that are associated with your account. You can then close the menu, and from here, you can simply tap on a property of interest that you want to survey. You'll see that some of the details come up, and you'll also see the survey button there. Tap the survey button, and this will bring you to the questions that you've set up. I just have one uh, here, but you can do as many as you like. And you can also submit a photo alongside with your questions by tapping the camera button at the bottom right. Once you've got the photos and the questions answered and you're all good to go, uh, simply hit the submit button. And you'll see on the screen that it starts out this sort of yellow color and then it turns to a full green and you see this pop-up badge uh, when it goes through successfully. That means it's uploaded to the server and you'll be able to see it uh, on the website, in your phone, anywhere. The data has been saved. If you'd like to see a uh, list of all the posts and their statuses, um, simply go to the toolbar here on the bottom right and then the middle icon with sort of a pencil and paper icon, tap it. And this is your submitted surveys list. Uh, so the newest will be first up at the top and you can see the whole history by scrolling up and down. Uh, if there are any issues, you'll see that instead of saved, it'll say error or something like that. Um, but generally, if you're thinking things are going through successfully, uh, you'll see something like this, where they all have green check marks and the word saved by them. If you've set any style rules on the website side, uh, you can tap this top button, sort of the paint uh, art icon here. Um, I don't have anything set up here, so uh, there, there's nothing really to see, but that would happen if you did. Um, and then if you want to end the surveying session and go back to sort of the regular app mode, you can simply do the process in reverse of tapping the menu and then hitting the survey toggle again. Uh, it'll go off. And then when you close, you'll see you're back to the normal tools and functions of the Regret app.